Welcome to the second installment of the Better Than Stock 2JZ Bottom End Build, performed by Safe Neighbor of Neighbor Racing. In the first episode, I introduced you to one of the foremost experts on the 2JZ motor. In this video, we'll watch Safe start assembling the block. It should be noted that SAFE has already put in a good amount of time preparing this project. The motor had to be disassembled and sent out to a machine shop with instructions to clean and machine it to very specific tolerances. One of the most time consuming steps is measuring the bearings. This is something that he has already performed, and to be honest it's not very riveting so we didn't capture this step on video. My name is Safe Neighbor from Neighbor Racing, uh, engine builder, tuner over here. We uh, specialize in the 2JZ LS platforms. Um, Supra is our main bread and butter. For motors with oil squirters, like the 2JZ turbo engine, the first step is to clean and install them. An oil squirter shoots oil at the bottom of the piston and helps clean them, which will prolong the life of the motor. After dropping the squirters into place, he torques them down. Now we begin to prepare for crank installation. Safe will do a few important tasks here. First, he lays out the main caps and the bearings in a specific order that he has preset for them. Second, he cleans the oil galleys inside the crank to ensure there are no metal shavings or chunks of dirt and grime. Next, he will insert the bearings into place. The ones with the slit go on the bottom of the crank. They only install one way because there's a small notch or tang that sets into a machining notch in the block. Now, it's time for the top bearings to insert into the main caps. This is the same process as the lower ones. It should be noted that no assembly lube is required under the bearings because they don't move against the surface of the main caps or block. We put the bearings on, dry, torque, put the crank in, torque them, then we check the clearances. Um, we use the dial bore gauge. This is the the accurate way of actually measuring clearances. Um, I actually do four gauge. You know, you do measure two, three times. And actually, upon the final assembly, I'll still throw a plastic gauge on them just to kind of double check. Uh, it gives you a uh, peace of mind, I guess. But like I said, we've already checked all the clearances. I think all right now. A little bit of the. Uh, Walls prepped a little bit. And again, even after washing numerous times after the machine shop, after hot tanking, you still wipe down your walls. And I haven't done that just yet with with oil, but we'll see. black. I do that before I drop the crank in it, just so that I can do a little, uh, put some air to it, get any kind of little piece of lint or anything that falls in. You put the crank in it, and then you do this, and you're going to have a bunch of stuff fall on, on the journals. Okay. So, kind of avoid that. So, say, what is it about the 2J that makes it so strong? <laughs> well, right, we got one cracked open here. We're looking at it. I mean, what's what's special about this motor? Well, it is probably one of the most well uh, balanced engine designs. You know, you got pistons and rods going straight up and down, rather than a V block where they beat themselves apart. 
trying to pull away from the crank. So, um, balance helps it big time. The cast iron block is very stout. It's actually got a lot of meat in between cylinders. Um, the mains are not bad. 7M mains are a lot thicker though. For all the 7M fans out there. <laughs> um, it's just a good design. It's very efficient. Um, fairly light rotating assembly from factory. And uh, with uh, forged, you know, cast crank and rods, you actually take a pretty good beating. And the block is iron, so it doesn't need to be sleeved unless iron. you're making nope. huge uh, power. Even then, we don't sleeve them. Um, if you ruin a cylinder hole, you can, you know, machine it, sleeve it, remachine it. But I personally stay away from that. If it comes to that point, it's good to the block. Um, but yeah, there's no need for sleeving. The oil pressure or the oil system on this on a two days is phenomenal. You don't have issues there like uh, a lot of other engines, such as the 7M. <laughs> but yeah, we micro polish port factory pumps um, to make them give out a little bit more. Actually, do very well. Go ahead and start some December rims on. Wrap it in. I use a lot of red line assembly for bearings. This stuff is awesome. Lays on, stays on. We don't usually get two carriers. Set the crank into the block. Yep, we're gonna set her in there. And I grab thrust washers. A lot of people uh, tend to just throw them in the pan for a certain reason. Them in. Yeah, they're all stamped and they all have a little point to them. Point faces towards the crank, front of the motor, and they're all they're all numbered one through seven. In this stage, Safe torques down the main bolts. It should be noted that this install will use ARP studs in place of the factory bolts but they weren't going to arrive for another day or two. So Safe went back afterwards and put them in place of these bolts. Studs are preferred over bolts for a couple reasons. First, they allow for more accurate torquing because they are stationary and don't twist during tightening. They also provide less wear and tear on the threads of the block's threaded holes. The studs also make the main cap install more accurate because they don't twist and move. 
Finally, the most obvious benefit is that ARP bolts are a higher grade in strength and are resistant to stretching. You'll note that SAFE uses a digital torque wrench and tightens them in three stages of increasing torque in order to seat them all as consistently as possible. What does this gauge do? This is going to tell us how much thrust we have, how much play we have um, for the crank to move in and out. There's a certain tolerance that's good or bad. So, first we start by pushing everything. Push the crank to the front. Zero. Just try to move this back. See how much we get. We got about four. Go back the other way, should zero out. Back the other way. We got four. That's perfect. Cool. Stay tuned for the next installment when SAFE prepares the piston assemblies by very carefully weighing and balancing the parts. If you like what you see, please subscribe to this channel, share it with your friends, leave us some comments, and hit that like button. See you next time.